Illuminated letters are very detailed, beautiful letters that are decorated with a variety of different designs and patterns. They date back to medieval times when monks would decorate religious texts. Illuminated manuscripts are basically just books filled with different pictures and writing and also have illuminated letters in them. They are called illuminated because they often had gold leaf around the outside of the images and letters. Illuminated letters come in all different shapes, styles, and patterns, but they're always very detailed and have lots of interesting designs. People still make them today. For this project, you're going to use a sheet of uh, basically manila paper and we're going to be folding it into a folder for our cover for our sketchbook and you'll see this is my design that's pretty much almost done it just needs to be completely finished um, with coloring but you'll use a sheet of paper and we're gonna have to measure on the one of the long sides of the paper and we're gonna be using some rulers and we are going to be using inches so inches are the larger ones. If you're using a ruler that has inches and centimeters, make sure you are using the inches, not the centimeters. The centimeters are the smaller ones. And we're gonna measure to two inches. So you'll wanna make sure that you can find the two. And we're gonna measure from the edge of the paper to the two. And the reason why we're doing this is because we wanna make a fold in our uh, paper. So it's going to turn into a folder that's going to be able to act as a cover, but also a folder for holding all of our things for this class. So I'm just kind of going along the edge, the long, one of the long edges, and just marking at the two inch mark. And this is just going to help me fold it so it's fairly even. So now I'm going to look for those lines and fold right on those lines as best as I can, as um, even as I can. It might not be totally perfect, but that's okay. And then you want to fold it down. So this is the pocket for the folder. And then you're going to fold the entire sheet in half. So we're folding the hamburger way. And now we pretty much have our uh, sketchbook cover folder ready to go. And this will look really nice when we have some pages and things inside of it and we can put some things in the folder. Now I have a bunch of different fonts that you can look at uh, to help you figure out what kind of letter you want. And you can come up with your own letter. It doesn't have to be one in front of you. And I'm going to do a medieval looking letter for this one. One thing you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you fill up the space. So make your letter really big. If it's not big enough, it's going to look kind of weird if you just have one small letter on your page. Now, I skipped ahead a little bit, but I'm adding some things to my letter. So it's not just going to be a regular letter. It's going to be one that has many different things. So I decided to go with a Halloween theme. So I have like a skull and a tree and a ghost. Now you need to choose three different colors. They can be any colors that you want. Um, I chose uh, purple, light green, and orange because those kind of colors reminded me of Halloween. You can use any three colors, but only three colors. So not a total crazy rainbow. You need to choose three colors of markers that you want to use. And you're going to outline all of your lines on your letter. And you'll also want to add some patterns. So some patterns are repeated images. So I have some polka dots. I will also have kind of some checkerboard design pattern. And then I'm also going to have some stripes. You can come up with your own patterns. This just makes it look a little more detailed and less plain. Okay. 
Next, you need to find three colored pencils that will match your markers. If you can't find a colored pencil that matches, just go with the closest color. So if you have pink and you don't have a pink colored pencil, um, you can go to a red colored pencil instead. And now I'm just coloring it in with those three colored pencils. So I outlined with the marker and I'm coloring in with the colored pencils. You can also color in with the marker. It's really whatever you prefer. And I'm not quite finished, but I'll let you guys get started on creating your own illuminated letter.